So, Gertz, it must be tough being a dad of a, a goalie, eh? Well, you know, I, I get asked that a lot, but it's uh, it's no different than being a parent of a hockey player, right? I mean, they're out there playing the game, right? So all you can do is support them. How's he doing today? Uh, on the short end of a 3 nothing score here, and that last goal, uh, a nifty play by that guy. Well, that was a nice shot, but, uh, you know, three power play goals, right? So they're out there battling. you got to stay out of the box. they got to stay out of the box for sure, yeah. Tell us a little bit about him. Uh, what's uh, What kind of a goalie is he, and who does he like to model his game after? Well, Arjun, uh, Arjun really likes Carey Price. I mean, uh, you know, to be intense and still be calm in the, uh, in the crease. So he watches him a lot. You're from Burnaby, your family, and you send him to, to OHA here in Penticton. I guess, what do you think of the program? Well, the program's great. I mean, uh, we looked at a lot of the programs, and this, we feel, is probably the best program that was out there on the academy side. Uh, run very professionally. they got lots of great coaches here. Uh, most of the people that are involved here are all uh, ex-NHL or WHL players, so they know what they're doing up here. All right, good luck for your son in the third period. Right. Thanks a lot. Let's talk about your team a little bit here. What kind of team you got playing here? Well, we've got an international team. We've got uh, four boys on the team from Mexico. Uh, we've got uh, Latvia. We've got uh, uh, Austria, Germany, uh, some Canadian boys, some American boys. So it's, uh, it's come together. When we came in September, it was a, a group of guys that had a little bit of skill, and now we've got a team. What kind of team are you? Are you a puck possession team? What do you call it? Nah, we're we're a grinding team, I guess. Uh, we're, we don't get a lot of scoring opportunities, but uh, you know we we bang and crash in front of the net, and uh, we've been working on uh, you know keeping the players to the outside, not not letting them you know be shooting in the slot area and that type of thing. But uh, uh, we're still working on some skills with some of these boys that aren't from uh, Canadian background. We got to talk to you about the Ironman streak because that's what you're known for. 914 games back in the 70s straight. Uh, I guess maybe talk about how you managed to do that without getting hurt, for example. Well, you don't. Everybody's hurt and yeah. hurt all the time. You play through hurt. You always got something, something taped or something ice on something. Yeah. You get on a plane and you got three bags of ice on you. Uh, I had a sister that was five years younger than me that was crippled. That was in a wheelchair and she could never ever get out of that chair and I knew that if I had a little bit of a sore ankle or a sore shoulder that in a week put some ice on it take a pill I don't take pills but I shouldn't say that but <laughs> great inspiration for you really. but it was an inspiration for me so uh, I never had a chance to feel sorry for myself I was blessed with a pretty high pain tolerance and uh, uh, like I say uh, it's a record that I would like everybody that gets to play the game I would like to see them break it because that means that they're not hurt and they're not sitting in the press box. So I enjoyed that part of it. I always tell the kids I never missed any day of school. So that was a streak too. <laughs>